Hi, this is Steve Moore. I'm a product engineer on the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud team here at Esri. And today I'm going to talk about some of the new features that are available in our 1.1 release of Maps for Creative Cloud. To begin with, we have some new login options. Uh, the first is complimentary access. And what this does is give you free access to any publicly hosted ArcGIS online content. So if I just provide a name and an email address, you'll receive an email similar to this one with an authorization code. If you just paste that authorization code into the text box right here and click activate, you can start using the extension completely for free. We also have a new option for signing in with an ArcGIS Online account, uh, and that's Enterprise Account. So if you've configured your ArcGIS Online organization to use Enterprise Logins, we now support that as well. Uh, but for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to be using a standard built-in ArcGIS Online account. We also have some new options with regard to creating and manipulating map extents. So I'm going to zoom in to Louisville, Kentucky and draw an extent. And I've got these new button shortcuts here. One is to modify map and output properties. So if I click on that, I can change the page size of my extent from here. I also have these two buttons here to increase map area and decrease map area. And if I click and hold those, what they let me do is dynamically adjust the scale of my extent so I can fine tune the area that it covers as well as the position. If I switch over to the compilation window, I can show you a few new content options we have as well. If I click the base map gallery button here, I've got two new options, vector street map and natural earth. And these are both vector-based maps that are hosted by the, Arc the Maps for Creative Cloud team. And I just want to point out the icons in the upper corner here. This indicates a vector-based map, and this indicates a raster-based map. So I'll select Vector Street Map. This is a highly detailed map uh, that includes building footprints for the entire world. We've also added a new option to add places. And this lets me search for a location. and add it to the map with a simple vector marker. You can see it right here in the center. And I can manipulate that over here in the table of contents like I can any other layer. We've also expanded the add layer from file option to include CSV and text files in addition to zip shape files. And we also support just dragging and dropping the CSV directly onto the compilation window. We have some new options as well with feature layers. So I'm going to add this census tract layer to the map and show you that we can now create and manage labels directly here in the compilation window. So I'm going to label based on the square mileage field. I'll reduce the font size just a little bit. We can also create uh, filters. So I can basically define a definition query to filter out records I don't want. In this case, I just want to see census tracts that are in the state of Kentucky. And then just like I've always been able to, I'm going to come in here and adjust the symbology to make it look a little nicer. OK, and it looks like I'm ready to download. Okay, so it's all finished downloading, and you can see I've got all my labels, all my vector artwork over here in the Layers panel in Illustrator. And I just also want to point out the North America group layer here. This is what contains all the uh, artwork for the base map. So I can come in here and actually manipulate individual road classes, as well as all the other layers that make up that base map. So I hope this gives you a good idea uh, about some of the new exciting things that are coming out in our 1.1 release. Uh, this extension will be available through the Adobe add-on site. And if you've already installed the 1.0 version, you should see it automatically upgrade to 1.1. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.